3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. This was our third attempt at thrust vector control, a project a couple friends and I started two years ago. CVC is a method used to control the orientation of a rocket by changing its direction of thrust. This has many real-world applications, but we do it because it looks super awesome. I mean, look at that, that's so cool. This project has had its ups and downs, but it's no doubt that we've learned a lot from it. Let's start from the beginning. First, we made a custom circuit board and designed a motor gimbal. We also experimented with some different parachute ejection systems. With the help of a BPS space video, we calculated the rotational inertia of our rocket. Normally, this would be used to tune gains that control the aggressiveness of the stabilization response, but we didn't know how to do that, so we just used dice. Pretty soon, we had a prototype, so we headed out to the desert to test it. It worked alright, except there was a lot of wind, the TVC was super inaccurate, and the parachute didn't deploy until the rocket hit the ground. After our parachute ejection failed in our last launch, we joked about how it'd be funny to use a smaller rocket motor to eject it, so that's exactly what we did. We also improved the motor gimbal, and designed a new horizontally mounted circuit board. With these improvements, we headed back out to the desert for our second launch. you can tell, this is not what the rocket's supposed to be doing, but thanks to the emergency ejection parachute, it was almost fully recoverable. The rocket tipped over like that because of a TVC failure. Because of this, we upgraded our TVC to what we call the A5 Compact. Also, we experimented with black powder parachute ejection charges to save space. After that, we used a fluid dynamics simulation to get these cool pictures, which double as a way to make sure the rocket is aerodynamically stable. The day before the launch, we also did a full systems test, where we simulated altitude change by walking up and down a hill. After calculating rotational inertia, we plugged it into Simulink to get control algorithm gain values, instead of rolling dice. It was our last night before the launch, and after some final touch-ups, we headed back out to the desert. With 30 mile per hour winds, a normal rocket would have turned into an unguided cruise missile. Not good. This was it, the culmination of every CAD iteration, all of our circuit board designs, each line of code, and countless late nights. Everything led up to this moment. All our hard work finally paid off, and our rocket worked perfectly. As our rocket coasted back down, I was reminded of just how far perseverance can take you. Sticking through the good times is important, but having the passion to stick through the hard times can take you so much further. So never let go of your excitement, your urge to learn, and to explore. In the end, it's the best thing life has to offer.